Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to another ASRHS Podcast Club. Today joining us, we have Emily, Teddy, and Noah. And um, we are going to be talking about uh, three things that have a pretty um, controversial, controversial ideas, I guess we could say. Um, one of which is going to be cancel culture, um, and then the death penalty, and um, I guess Santa slash milk. We'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, so let's start well with uh, cancel culture. What are you thinking? I think it really depends on the situation. Agreed. I mean, somebody may say the N word, and that's not okay to say, and then, <laughs> but like, there's other situations where it's the smallest thing and they'll freak out. Yeah, I think. Like, um, one of my, one of the things I've heard about was the, the, singer from the band Cannibal Corpse, there's a clip from of him from like 2009 or 2007 saying to Epsler in an interview, um, but like he was just talking about a game, he was talking about how much he hates like some faction, some shooting game, and like other, I, I don't, I'm not entirely sure if he's talked about it since, but like aside from that he's never said anything homophobic, uh, like he's never been a bad person. Did, so, he, did he like get in trouble for that? Not, he never like got in trouble officially. Like I've seen, um, the hell, Teddy. <laughs> uh, sorry, I've seen um, like people discuss it, like bring it up, um, but not in a bad way. Not to say like, oh, he said this, we need to get rid of him. Just like, oh, yeah. this was ten years ago. I wonder like if he's changed his views or if he like knows why it's bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, can cancel culture can get taken super far for the smallest things or, but sometimes it is needed, but a lot of times it's, it's really not. The internet is like feral right now. It's I mean, crazy. It's like, it's like, like a squirrel can be walking down the street, gets hit by a car. Uh, a random person on Instagram can just like walk down the street and, and somebody, somebody will find something wrong with it. But like, be like you know, you there, are definitely, the squirrel there are definitely instances where it's, Beyond, beyond is 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 yeah. more than necessary to do something. But like, yeah. <laughs> when you when you do it for everything, it kind of negates the whole thing. So. Do you guys have any examples of like times it's like been used too far? Because like I I've definitely heard about. It. I can't think Twitter. of Twitter. I mean like specific cases. Like I I I know Twitter does take it far. Which I can't I don't I can't think of any specific examples off the top of my head. Well, so, I do know about um, Trump getting like banned from Twitter multiple times. Right. I don't see mm -hmm. why that was needed, personally. Not because I uh, I like Trump, but because like I like his hair. <laughs> <laughs> but like Twitter just doesn't like I guess didn't like what Trump was saying, so they took it down. Not yeah. not necessarily because it was like um, like an evil thing he was saying. They just mm -hmm. didn't like it. So. Yeah. I know a specific example, which was, mm -hmm. it did get nominated for an Oscar. I can't remember the, like, conductor's name. He's fam like famous conductor, and I can't remember the actor who played him, but the conductor was Jewish, and he actually had, like, a big nose, and people thought about the stereotype and then immediately started, like, going after him, saying it's not okay, even though the prosthetic is actually what the, like, um, conductor looked like that's when it's like really over the top like they're actually making him look like the person it's not trying to like be mean More it's playing to the stereotype yeah wait there's this what what is the stereotype the I, I guess it's like Jewish people have big noses yeah. that, that's what I've heard I've just never heard of that ever in my life I've mm -hmm. heard it but I've not as that. much as other yeah stereotypes. it's not as yeah. much as others but it is a stereotype interesting I think the trend with cancel culture seems to be people are like guilty until proven innocent. Mm -hmm. And it's like, sometimes it's like, it comes out later that they are actually confirmed guilty and it's like, okay, then it makes sense. But if it comes out later, the person is completely innocent of whatever they're accused of and they've been like completely ruined online. It's like, how are they gonna recover from that? They didn't do anything wrong. Like, um, there is 
Do you remember the um, thing with Johnny Depp and his yeah. ex-wife? Uh, how, like, because she's, like, threatened him with, uh, or, like, made accusations against him about, like, um, domex- domestic violence, mm-hmm. um, he was, like, wasn't able to get another job, like, for acting and stuff. He wasn't able to get acting jobs. He was, um, like, cast out of the movies he was already in, like, yeah. already going to be in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and there's, there's, like... I mean, I guess you could call it cancel culture, just not through the media. I don't know. Maybe it was through the media, but, like, that's definitely, like, I, mean, I don't think should be a thing. I seem um, to remember in that case people sided with Johnny Depp more than... Well, that was Amber the defamation Heard. trial with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. But prior to that, uh, there were allegations about yeah. their relationship and how it was abusive yeah and after it, it did not look good for Johnny Depp during the trial he got he was definitely had everybody on his side yeah mm-hmm. um, it's just initially it was all against him yeah. yeah um yeah people switch up fast and they just yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's the whole thing like people really don't dig deep into these things and like form an they, opinion of yeah, their own they don't have all the facts too so it's like how can you cancel someone when you don't know um, both sides. Everything about it. Yeah, both sides. And yeah. It's just like you can't talk about um, a certain subject if you don't know everything about it. Yeah, I mean, internet culture these days is kind of just see, internalize, regurgitate. That is like all, all anybody does anymore. That's the retweet. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, like just pressing the retweet button mm-hmm. without actually like looking at anything. But, you know. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think um, all in all, I think cancel culture, I don't think it should be a thing. I think there are instances when somebody should just not be like looked up to, especially like if they say something that's totally wrong or like the majority of people think are wrong. Um, I think it's more of just you kind of ignore the person than like really try to hate on that person because I mean we all do like bad things. I don't think we should be um, hating on other people for that. But we definitely shouldn't allow people to do certain stuff. Yeah, I mean I think the right approach is you see something bad about somebody you know online, you you take a step back for a minute, you don't go commenting uh, in either direction. You just wait, and then eventually the truth comes out, and then you can have a developed opinion based on what actually happened rather than unproven accusations or um, just wild stuff that people say. Like, I, uh, I, I just looked it up. I know I mentioned it earlier, but the, the senator from Campbell, from Campbell Corps apparently apologized for using the word like 12 years ago. So like there, there are instances of people like, oh, I messed up and like atoning for it, saying like, oh, my bad, I won't do it again. Yeah, and it must be hard to like be on camera all the time as a celebrity because like mm-hmm. one mess up, everybody's going to be on you about it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so and I think uh, taking accountability can go like really far, but also can only go so far and like if it's something really bad, then it's kind of, I don't know. Yeah. Um, there are some, so what do you guys think about, like, if somebody says, um, let's say somebody, like, tweets on, like, Twitter, the N-word, um, mm-hmm. or, like, some something that is, like, uh, just super rude or, like, mean, like, hate speech, or basically, you could call it. Um, mm-hmm. Like, what do, what do you guys think about that? Like, do you think they should be, I guess, like, canceled, I guess? Yeah. I wouldn't say canceled. Like, I wouldn't say that extreme, but maybe, I don't know, maybe. Depends on how long they've been saying it and, like, Mm -hmm. and how they're saying, like, if they're using it against someone. Well, either way, it's like, you shouldn't be saying that, but, like, um, yeah, yeah, like, I guess educating them before. Mm -hmm. Punishing them, I guess. I, I'm not. I don't know. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's that's actually a great point. I think we should try to educate people about maybe something that might not be um, a good thing to do or say. 
instead of just like directly hating on them. Um, I think that uh, that definitely can go a long way. I I think people. I definitely am a strong believer that people can change um, if you like if you approach it the right way, especially on like online and uh, the comments you say. But. Yeah. Um, way back in the day, as in like five years ago or something. I don't know how long ago it was uh, when PewDiePie <laughs> said the N word. <laughs> I think. It's like definitely there should be pushback for something like that, um, at least a little bit. But you should try more to educate and like explain why something is bad than just say, this is bad. I'm never going to watch anything you do again, which is like, if you don't want to watch something that a creator does, fine. Like, but you know, I think it's, there's, there's a difference between stopping watching somebody and hating on them, like, yeah. publicly. And I think, like, with the PewDiePie situation, it's like, nowadays, people still watch PewDiePie nowadays. Mm -hmm. You can see, like, there is a way to properly, like, evaluate and, like, move on from something like that to educate, like, he, definitely slipped up. He said something bad. He should not have said that. And he should have known going into it that he shouldn't have said that. But, you know, like, people got on him about it, and he clearly learned his lesson since then. So it's like, mm -hmm. sometimes it can provide a valuable lesson, both for audiences and for creators. Um, but sometimes it's just, like, too much hate. But it's a very... It's hard to put a, an answer on it, like a, a direct answer, because it's yeah. so broad a range of things that could happen. What, what do you What do you guys think of uh, separating the artist from the from the art? I think it all depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Like, um, do any any of you guys know the band As I Lay Dying? Um, they're a metalcore band, started in like the early two thousands. Um, they were really big for a while. The in like. In the early 2010s, they were on tour, and the singer tried to hire a hitman to kill his wife. Oh. And then you know, he, he was arrested very quickly. The hitman was an undercover cop. But so then he went to jail for a while. And um, he, he's, like, since gotten out. He's, like, I, I guess he's gone, like, to rehab to, like, not do that again. <laughs> However yeah. you say it. Hitman rehab? Yeah. And um, he's, like, put out new music with the band, but mo it's most most of the band has since left. It's, like, just him and, like, the, the old guitarist. So I personally still enjoy listening to their first couple albums, like, well before any of that happened. But I just, mm -hmm. I don't feel right listening, like, even trying to listen to the, the new stuff, just, like, knowing, like, knowing that, like, the person who did that, like, that was mainly him writing it. And the fact, like, that money goes to him. Why do you think people still listen to Kanye? I think Kanye yeah, is like he is completely awful like person. is it a because exemp care. exemplifies this issue entirely because like people still listen to Kanye stuff all the time, um, and it's like <laughs> I do sometimes, um, but like it's like people change um, and yeah. people do things that are bad. It's also and it's like. Time changes things, but it also doesn't. It's like, it's a very complicated issue. Yeah, and I don't think like, anybody's like the whole side of them. Just because they do something one bad, one thing bad, doesn't mean you like shouldn't take any notice into anything else they do. Like, I think it's okay to listen to the music, um, even if they'd like done something horrible. It's just you don't endorse that the fact that they did that. Um, some might argue that you're endorsing it because you listen to the music. Um, I just don't think that's true. Um, but um, yeah, um, I think that was a great discussion on cancel culture. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, we should move on to our next topic, which is the death penalty. <laughs> uh, I think anybody who says anything bad on the internet should receive the death penalty. <laughs> Immediately. Oh. Immediately. <laughs> Yeah, it's just um, like Instagram comments, Instagram. Yeah, comments. like or TikTok. You yeah, know. I don't really know if there should be a death penalty because, like, 
not a lot of countries have it anymore. Like few countries have it. I and think, we're one of the few. I think the biggest issue, uh, not that I know enough about this to say a lot, but uh, it's like the court system, like most courts, at least local, it's just like peers. It's just random people they like mailed. They're like, hey, you're gonna come judge this person. I I could be wrong, but like, did in, in, in cases like that, are those people like assigning death penalty? It goes, goes to the Supreme Court. I okay. think if you are trying, if you're gonna get the death penalty. Okay. I don't think that a court should decide how you are. Mm. They should decide your punishment, but they shouldn't decide death penalty. Yeah. I think it's like. If you've been in prison for like 20 years and you're like, do I want to stay in prison for the rest of my life or would I rather just not? Yeah. I think it's like, it's a complicated issue. Again, a lot of these things are, but it's like, if I was sitting in prison, I was like, I'm going to be here for 60 more years unwillingly, would I rather get the guillotine or like sit there in a cell like rotting? And it's like, but I don't think that should be a decision that like is made by a judge yeah, I'm for by, your life. And these like, are normal humans judging. Yeah, I mean, there, everybody, prisoners, everybody is a person. They should all be treated like people. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess coming from a religious perspective, um, I, uh, I guess in my religion, uh, we don't believe that like we should. Um, judge people because God is the ultimate um, judge right and um, and so I don't think it's fair for like humans um, to have the right to put another human to death um, so I guess that's like I think if instead of a death penalty I think just going to jail would be probably for like the rest of your life if it makes sense um, but yeah the, just coming from my perspective I guess I think the biggest issue with the death penalty is just corruption in courts. Oh, yeah, like, definitely. Yeah. Um, the way I've always thought of it is, like, it should just be a way to, like, get rid of some of the people like Jeffrey Dahmer, like, all those, like, horrific serial killers. Like, there's always, like, I've heard stories of them, like, escaping prison. There's always the chance of them acting again. So, like, in that case, it's just, like, a way to protect everyone else to stop more murders. Um, but even then, like, you... You want to make sure it's like a hundred percent. You need it to like a hundred percent proven guilty, hundred percent deserved. Mm -hmm. Like if they don't, if we don't do this, then like the society as a whole is in danger. It's very. It's not good that that's that exists for like anyone. Yeah, I think. I mean, if you're gonna, if the problem is that you're putting society into danger, I think it should instead like just create like a high high security prison. I mean, I'm sure there is like high security prison but like one I don't know just try to prevent escaping as much and, as and possible in, yeah, in a world where prison escapes like don't happen like it's all very subjective I guess um, it's a lot of opinion but I don't think like most cases nowadays you don't hear that often about people escaping the prisons anymore yeah, it's no. like if um, if you have somebody in prison, life in prison, and they're not going to escape, I think life in prison is, for so, some people would say that's a worse penalty than die. Like, it's all about perspective, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless you're the cartel. I, I think that like all escaping be, because of the op because of the fact that it could be like used wrong like there could be wrong cases, um, it like probably shouldn't exist. Like there there yeah. are very few cases where it could be justified, but even then there like you said just like there could be like the securest prison like there could be alternatives. Yeah. Or, or should be really. Do you think we should m move to like more recreational and re? Rehabilitation in prisons than like punishment. Uh, like in that, that way. Yeah. <laughs> that, like, I think it, depends, that it one. depends on the case, but I think like a lot of the time, yeah, like I, I know a lot of like small crimes, um, like theft or something, they'll just like give you community service or like a week in prison, just like, hey, this this sucks, don't do it again. 
Um, but, yeah. But, but even then, people just don't listen. I think right. it's also a big issue, like, mm-hmm. people going to prison is just because of culture. I think there's, especially in different, like, places, like um, Detroit or... Uh, I think I think the U.S. is, like, culture is far more of let's lock this guy up than let's turn this person um, from a criminal into a productive member of society. Yeah. Whereas in like a lot of other like European nations, other parts of the world, it's um, <laughs> like completely different. Like they're like, oh, we'll do rehabilitation. And a lot of times it works out pretty well for people. And I there, mean, there there's always going to be things that don't go as expected, mm-hmm. but the majority of the time. And I think the crime rates go down, too, in those areas, right? Yeah, um, but I think the culture in the U.S. right now is just like, ah, we have prisons. Isn't, isn't <laughs> Norway one of like, the safest countries in the world? Yes. yes. Yeah. Finland, so. Sweden, and Norway, and Denmark. All so, of them. Yeah. Like, um, but... Uh, isn't Denmark where Hamlet happens? Yeah. <laughs> then didn't um, everyone die there? Oh. So that, that was uh, a while ago. With like okay, <laughs> so, so it's changed? Maybe. With like okay. the recreational stuff, here, money seems to determine that. Like, and Determine what? Like, if they're able to do that or not. Like, do what? Like able, rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. There was so you're saying they have to pay to no, complete. it's not just that. There's like you talked about like corruption in courts and stuff. And yeah, like people paying off courts. It's that expensive can determine stuff like that. Oh, and recently, like, like illegally. Yeah, like yeah. like under the table. Okay. Like I'll give you two million dollars if you get me out of jail. And it happens all the time. Does it? I mean. Oh, paying like crazy amounts for yeah, mail. It's yeah, it's really just, rich, really. I don't know. Like, I I haven't really heard anything about that. That's what I was I think say. I, so I feel like it's super. I would. I think it's the the. I think the starting awesome. line would be court reforms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Like, I think that on its own would solve a lot of issues. Well, what would um, you change about the court then? I mean, it's hard to say. We should get rid of it entirely. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we we could just have anarchy. Um, <laughs> You know, okay. if one day you decide that somebody is evil, it's anarchy. You could do whatever you want. But so. yeah, but in all seriousness, like, like yeah. what would you do to like make the court system better? I mean, it, it's hard to say because it's like it really comes down to the politician. Yeah, I mean, there's themselves. there's not politicians, the people at the, in the court. Yeah, so you're saying that the people shouldn't have a say in whether these people get. I think it's nice to have a jury, and there needs to be a jury. Mm -hmm. But what I don't like is uh, money. (laughs) The amount of money that's involved in it. You can buy a better lawyer, you can buy bail, you could pay yourself out of a larger sentence. But the thing is, there's there's no way around, I mean, yeah, you have to pay for a better lawyer. I mean, there's no mm -hmm. way around that. Um, I mean, for higher cases, like, that are more serious. I think that probably the um, vic- uh, the uh, what was it called the person on trial should have should probably get a mm-hmm. higher um, a better lawyer, right? The defense, yeah, yeah, yeah. the defense. Um, and if they don't have money, like the government should um, give them a, a better one, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, we do like, that, right? It's like public defense lawyers. Yeah, there's there's public defense they're lawyers, but they're usually though. not associated with uh, winning <laughs> for the defendants. So, <laughs> is, is there a major difference? I think there is. I think there is. I would say, like, in an ideal world, um, in an ideal world, the decision would just be magically no and obviously but like yeah obviously what we could do theoretically is you can have the same budget for lawyers for both sides that way it's like if the person is guilty they have an equal budget on both sides so that but then there would be no competition for the lawyers to like try their hardest because 
they're not going to that is get angry. that is an issue but i feel like it's like the people who matter the most in a case aren't really the lawyers i would say i would say it's the well, people yeah, on the trial <laughs> like i mean but and the thing is you can't get around the lawyers i mean i mean it's a needed thing so like like what are you gonna do i, I mean, think it's like lawyers are always gonna want their money <laughs> um and that's fine but um it, it should change, but you don't know how. It should change. Okay. <laughs> it should change. Yeah. Well, that, there's, a, there's a lot of issues that need change, but, I mean, it's hard to solve these things because yeah. nobody knows. <laughs> so. Yeah, and um, going back to, like, the death penalty, I think, um, I mean, even if somebody, so say somebody, like, murders someone, um, I mean, they're still a human, and you're a human, so like it's kind of, it's kind of weird how you can be in a position of power to just say that person should be dead. Like, like, do you really think you have the authority to do that? I mean, you're both human. Have any, this is, have any of you guys ever ever seen Death Note? You've seen yeah. it. Yeah. A little. yeah right. What is yeah. it? So this guy finds a notebook and call it Death Note, and if you write, you have to write the name of a person in there, and like think of their face, and then. Can, like write a cause of death if you don't write a cause of death they just die within a minute from a heart attack basically like the i mean the plot's just like a mystery like the guy who finds it he uses it to like literally kill like every criminal in the world and then uh like every all the governments are trying to find him what is it rated r or that makes sense. mature yeah it's an anime yeah oh it's anime yeah it's it, i don't really remember why i brought it up it's unique though it, it's yeah, it is interesting. Uh, that's an interesting plot, though. I think good. Mm -hmm. And like the one of the big questions the whole time is like the morals behind it. Like everyone's trying to like all the governments and the cops are trying to like catch the guy and stop him because like oh you're killing people. Then towards the end, like everybody, like the whole world's on his side. They're like, well, he's making the world a better place. Like we don't have to be worried to about living. And so like that's one of the questions that they ask the whole time. Like, is it moral? Is he right? Is he wrong? Yeah, because it's like, who is he to to kill someone, but also he's like doing it for the better, but who is he to decide that it's for the better? You know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, <laughs> is it better to kill a bunch of people or to, you know, rehab and, again, and turn them into productive members that, of society? I feel like that comes down like, to, like, personal gain. I mean, these people want to be saved, which, I mean, obviously should be true like these mm -hmm. people should be safe um but they want the other person to die for their safety right yeah well, the the very first the, fir the first two people he kills one was a dude like holding a bunch of preschoolers hostages and then the next person was like a bunch of people trying to like rape someone so like in that case is that case like it almost it, it seems justified like a like stopping a rape or like stopping ki children from being shot but yeah. Yeah. I don't really know what to. You want to talk about Santa? Oh yeah, yeah Santa. Um, I think it's plenty of time. Do you guys believe in Santa? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, de definitely real. What do you guys get for Christmas? <laughs> what do you get for Christmas? I got these shoes. Yeah, those are sick. They're nice. They're really Money. comfy. They they add like okay. a whole inch to me, like an inch taller. That's sick. That's why you look taller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I got a, well, I haven't gotten it yet. I'm actually getting it probably this next week. I'm getting a new saxophone. I, I got, got a drum set. Oh, sick. A drum set? Oh, yeah. that's cool. I got lots of clothes and then a DJ set up. Yeah. Yeah, well, now. H has anyone ever seen Santa? Like, is, I remember he came to the concert uh, the last two years. Oh, Santa oh, was yeah. actually at my workplace. He, uh, yeah. yeah. There's evident. There is photo evidence. Prescott has it. Yeah, there's like oh, two two years in a row. Yeah, Mr. Prescott's okay. taking a picture with him. Um, I I've seen him at the mall. I've seen the Easter Bunny at the mall. Oh yeah. 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 That thing is scary. Easter Bunny. He he's freaky. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. You guys ever do like the Elf on the Shelf? 
My no. I used to. That thing, looking back on it, was just stupid. And my the most, like, my parents thing don't ever. think. Uh, I think it's like kind of like kind of bad to like lie to your children. My mom was always life. scared of the elf on the shelf, but <laughs> my si- my eight year old sister finally convinced her to get one, and we did it last year. Awesome. Oh, cool. I think it should be like, just like a you know a fun little thing, not necessarily <laughs> believing the elf is. Um, I yeah. <laughs> when I was younger. Uh, we do Christmas at my cousin's house mm-hmm. every every or Christmas Eve there every year, and we went over and there was an elf on the shelf. I was like, guys, we got to move the elf. <laughs> and they were like, what? What? You can't touch the elf. If you touch him, he loses his magic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, right. Screw the elf. <laughs> not everybody. Not everybody. Not everybody learns the truth. Yeah. At, the magic at the same myself. age. I cried when I learned out that, when it, when I figured it out. I learned in elementary school. Oh, obviously, we should learn in elementary. No, school. I was yeah. a I was a big time Santa defender when I was in elementary school. What cool. what what age did you figure out he wasn't real? I don't Probably remember. Probably like fourth grade. I just I, I just stopped caring. I stopped thinking about him. I, I never really believed in it. Really? Okay, my, buddy. My parents would say like, you no, guys got real. You guys got to write your letters to Santa, and I just like I I'd do it because that's what we did. But I didn't really think one way or the other. I didn't think like, okay. Well, exactly. Yeah. I think I, it just shows how like. Like I didn't. To be fair, yeah. Like I was I, like I, I, that's I don't what really I'm care. Trying to say like you I'm only think about believing. Santa at Christmas time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. So it's like What's ninety ninety percent of the year, you're not thinking about whether Santa's real or not. Is and Santa, it's like Christmas comes around, it's like maybe there's the student outside. Is Santa just like yeah. Christianity for kids? Because Santa's like, if you act good for this year, you, no. you get you get presents. In, but then Christian. In fact, like, it was a uh, it was actually created to like, kind of be. It's German. Well, it my, my, my point is, it's no. like the it's like the concept of, it? of heaven. Like, if you act good, your life in your life, you get to go to heaven. It's like a well, trial I mean, it is, to heaven and hell. I think it was kind of uh, created to, to um, distract from Christianity. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. At least that's what I remember, it, right? Yeah, like Jesus' birthday or something. Yeah, I, don't know. I think it was It was also made for, like, the people who weren't Christians who could also mm-hmm. celebrate Christmas. Well, what was, um, like, the original reason? Because, like I said, it was Christian. German. It wasn't truly, like, it was like, was like St. Nichols, right? Yeah. 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 Name. Wasn't yeah. it based off this guy who, like, like every every year he would go to a bunch of people's doors and deliver them gifts and then... I don't know. I thought it was based on like you put your shoes outside. Oh yeah, you put your shoes and like kindness or whatever. Yeah, I just at least from my remembers, like just stemmed from um, it being a distraction from Christianity and also so other people can celebrate Christmas. But yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of cool. Santa Claus, like you know, like. Do you do you think uh, parents should keep the lie going i think that no. it shouldn't be a lie we need an actual santa yes yeah i, I volunteer my dad he, he makes like, a great santa yeah somebody like just make it like a division at amazon or something <laughs> just like you know <laughs> jeff bezos he just buys he's a plenty sleigh. rich he's fine he can he yeah can but he doesn't want to lose his money <laughs> i don't know that's crazy <laughs> we love the rich yeah. Do you guys love milk as much as Santa? No. I'm allergic. What, what about milk were you going to talk about again? Uh, whether we hate milk or not. Oh, I love milk. I actually drink a cup of milk every I day. Don't, I don't think that's the right question. I oh. think the real question is, the elephant in the room is, uh, to those who do drink milk, what percentage? For whole. What percentage of milk? Whole, Coconut whole milk. milk. Whole milk. Whole milk. Whole milk is the most healthy for you. Whole milk? None. Is the closest thing to actual milk. Exactly. <laughs> milk is intended to be milk in nature to be a meal. Fruitful. Wait. It no. is supposed to be nutritious. Creamy, nutritious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not supposed to be water. I mean, turned into cream. How many people are putting their cereal in one percent? Yeah. It's that's like that's, that's, that's just gotta put be your crime. cereal in water. Exactly. Save the money. Speaking like, of cereal and milk, which which order do you guys go for? Cereal and then the milk. Obviously. I go, okay. Who else I, I, I go <laughs> does it differently? Um, I don't know. I pour it. You do differently? <laughs> can, I, can I say yeah. milk, cereal, spoon, bowl? That is the only acceptable way. No, it goes bowl, milk, cereal, fork. 
I actually used to do that. <laughs> it's actually. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's, it's actually spoon plate um, cereal. Or no, milk cereal then spork. So what about some, spork? Some people might think that it's not the way to enjoy cereal. But what I used to do in my <laughs> middle school years, my middle school years, I was a huge Lucky Charms enjoyer. And I would have, I would start off by doing cereal and then milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, at the time, didn't like milk. I'm fine with milk now. Um, it's healthy and it, it, it tastes fine. It tastes so. amazing. Uh, I've, the taste has sufficiently grown on me, probably because I've started u buying whole milk and not buying water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you shop for... I, I like to grocery shop for my own stuff. Um, Do you pay for it? <laughs> uh, sometimes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I usually get paid back. So. Okay. Do you guys, uh, did you guys like mix your cereals as a kid? I, I always did that and then I realized that... I. I wouldn't no mix <laughs> cereals. I would reuse the milk from the cereal oh. that I had had. I would eat it with a fork because I didn't oh. like milk, but mm -hmm. I liked my cereal not to be dry. Uh -huh. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. But I, yeah, <laughs> I like the milk first and then the cereal because then it's like still crunchy and you can like dunk the cereal to get yes, it more agreed. wet. But I like my cereal wet, water wet, sufficiently wet, but not water wet because water no. doesn't have any food. <laughs> So I think the best way is just to eliminate the argument altogether. No bowl, just <laughs> both together. Hand just, in the box. Just like like oh milk. Gosh. Box in one hand, milk in the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one time I almost I all I brought a okay. bag of like cereal to school oh. and I was like, I have a carton of milk. I have a bag of cereal. <laughs> what if I mix them? I did not do it. No, I did. I don't think I did it. Why I not? hope I didn't. Just do pour it. the Anyways. whole thing of milk <laughs> in the bag. This is a. This has been a great discussion, but um, yeah, we have to end unfortunately. Ah. Uh, yeah. One, four, three, two, one. Anyways, what's Fine. yeah? What's your mom, Liam? Hey, hey. Yeah, it was uh, it was great having you guys join us today. I think it was. Thank you. It was a great discussion. I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah, um, I think I learned something. Yeah, we should definitely have you guys back and talk about something mm -hmm. else. Yeah, you know, I'm, it was good being here. I'm excited to go uh, exercise the death penalty after <laughs> I just, but, you know. Yeah, you go do that, Teddy. I'll drink yes. a carton of milk. Enjoy. Thank you for uh, joining us today, and we'll see you next week. Bye.